Hi, I'm Leslie McBain and this is CTN Member Highlights. Today we're at Lincoln Park um, with the Mayo Street Arts Children's Program and they will be looking at the piece of art behind me which is a temporary installment courtesy of Tempo Arts and the children will be talking about it, learning about it, and writing about it. So hold the paper out in front of you, your charcoal, and look. Um, I'm here now with Blaine McGrath, who's the executive director of Mayo Street Arts. Yes. And I know you do the most wonderful things at Mayo Street, from puppet shows to dancing to music to whatever. Um, and this is a camp that you do um, for the children in the area? Yes, this is RAD, which stands for Reading Art Dance, and it's a summer literacy camp. Um, and this is a uh, reading program that's free for students of need in um, East Bayside and other parts of Portland, Greater Portland. Um, we have 15 to 25 kids with us each day studying reading art and dance and so being here at the sculpture is a great way for them to incorporate art into their reading program. And did you have an arrangement with Tempo Art um, to do this? We did. We were invited um, by Tempo Art to come and study the sculpture because um, we're about a block away from the sculpture in Lincoln Park. Um, a lot of our students are live within a block of the sculpture and see it on a daily basis so it made sense for us to come and um, sketch the sculpture and learn more about it. What are you doing here today? Tell me a little bit about drawing this piece of art behind you. So today we came to the park to draw a picture of the sculpture and everyone is doing that and if we finish we like say we didn't um, do all of it in one picture we could use another one of these pieces of paper and draw on the rest. Would you mind showing the audience your piece? Now could you talk a little bit about your perspective and and how you went about drawing it? How you started? Did you just stop from tar the top down or the bottom up? Or I started from the outline where the rocks are and then I went up as a as I did the statue. This was the second project. I was looking at the sculpture while, while I was doing my picture and I couldn't look down at my picture. So I didn't know what I was doing. Oh my goodness. I was just looking up at the sculpture. So sort of, the, what do they call that? Free form kind of without, that's amazing how it turned without, out. Without looking down. I, I, I only got to um, look at it once I was done with the picture. Are you pleased with the way it turned out? Yeah, I think it turned out good. What what went through your head when they said you had to draw that sculpture? Well, all that really went through my head is this is a basic thing just to draw the sculpture over there, just to see what happens, and um, this is it. That's it? Let's see. Can we show everybody? Can you explain it a little? Well, it says, um, it says right here, I saw four houses stacked on top of each other. And I wrote right here, it's a lot harder to write with a small piece of chalk than um, you think it is. <laughs> it is, that's lovely. Hey, tell me, are you, do you do a lot of art? I did some homes, mm -hmm. and I draw it. Uh -huh. It's right here, and one is right here. You did two? Oh yes. my goodness. Um, I did two. And why did you decide to do two? Because I want to do two, but I like that one. That one, I like that one first, and then next is that one. And so this has more detail than the first one? Yep. And, and, and you thought it needed that, just you wanted to compare? Yep. Uh -huh. Now I like first one, mm -hmm. that one, mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and the next is right here. Can I hold one of those and you hold the other and we'll show the camera what they look like? They're amazing. I just love it. I love that you're working together and the children um, are delightful. They've been um, learning and thinking about the sculpture over the past week or so, writing about their ideas of home, which is the, the title of the sculpture home. Um, they all come from very diverse backgrounds and have different experiences of home and housing and what that means to them is really interesting um, for us to learn about and for them to be engaged in this conversation that we're having about home in Portland and what that means. I think that's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm.